Dear Lord, Bruno lost his wife two years ago, and he hasn't seen the light since. We beseech you, O oh Lord, to guide his path towards a better woman. You gotta be kidding me. Let Bruno find his own path. His own path isn't working, is it? Sometimes I miss her, Dad. I know you do. Here we are, two years later. Why don't you hang out with my daughter, Rita, tonight? Because your wife died. Yep. Do you want to tell me about it? No. No, of course not. Sorry. Afraid I got a bit of bad news. We've decided to take the property back. I designed and, and, and built that house. You have two weeks. There's got to be a way out of this. They'll take that house from you over my dead body. We step out of the house now, Bruno. Because I think it's better if we do step out. You're going back to your old house, aren't you? You're going to get yourself shot. Hold on, I'll go get you a can of gasoline. Don't enable him, John. Bruno? What is that? Do! Do! How about that? Hello. What are you doing? I'm moving in. You can't just hang out at your place anymore. That's trespassing, man. And what do you think? So full of life. Life. I love this house. It's taken me a long time to be able to say that about anything. I'm in serious trouble. She has no idea she's living in my house. We're all so desperate to help you. It's hard to figure out which way to go. If you really want to honor Lydia's life, maybe the best course of action is for you to finally live your own. What I did was inexcusable. I guess I just didn't count on meeting you. Yeah.